Good morning, friends. Lois with LA Grace's The Attic here with just a little Monday morning motivation for you guys. Um, I was not on here last week. Uh, it was Labor Day uh, last Monday, and I was traveling back in the car with my family uh, on a five-hour trip home from the beach, so it was not really conducive to doing a, a live for you guys. So I took last week off, but I'm back this week. Uh, just before we get started, uh, my name is Lois East. I own an online creative company called Ellie Grace's Attic. And uh, we do all things crafty. I love Jesus. So this is why I'm coming to you and sharing a word with you this morning from my heart to yours. Um, you're going to get all kinds of crafty stuff. Uh, we make wooden signs. Uh, we love painting the Lord's Word on our signs, but we also do tons of custom orders. So that's a little bit about what you're going to see on Ellie Grace's Attic. You're going to see some mom hacks, anything that makes my life easier, I love to share. And I'm just real. I'm a real girl who loves a real God with all her heart. And I love to um, encourage others in their creativity as well. Uh, we like, like I said, we're real. So I'm going to share some real with you. Um, I love, if you've been around for a minute, you know I love the fall, but I hate being cold. And uh, it is chilly this morning. It is in the lower 60s. The low tonight is going to be 54. For us, that's pretty cold. I know my northern friends uh, and Canadian friends are going to laugh at that. But for us southerners, that's chilly. And uh, so I don't know how much longer you'll see me on the back porch uh, with the beautiful green trees because I'll probably be in my room. You see I got a hoodie on this morning. <laughs> Go Tigers. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't know how much longer I'm going to be on the back porch. Also keeping it real, look at this water. Water. This is what happens when you have an electric toothbrush, a water pick, and uh, you take it out of your mouth before it's time. It spews water everywhere. Um, hashtag real life. So just in case you were thinking I was anything other than just a real girl, there you go. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> um, but I just want to come on this morning and encourage you guys uh, with a word, like I said. Normally I read out of my little devotion book. Um, I do different devotion books as we, you know, we have, we've done a few now on here. Just a couple years ago, the Lord laid it on my heart to speak into you guys uh, sharing what I read on Monday mornings to get my week started. And uh, normally I read out of the devotion book. Today I'm going to read straight from the Lord's Word from His Bible. And um, I'm dropping my pen. Um, and I need this reminder that I'm going to share with you every so often. I need it for myself. So I know if I need it, it's going to touch somebody's heart. It's a word for somebody this morning. We're going to talk about our words, right? I shared this I share some personal thoughts on my personal page every week as well, and I thought, you know what, my uh, LA Grace's friends need to hear this as well. And so I'm going to read to you Ephesians 4 to 9, and it says, don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say, everything, everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Let me, re let me read that again. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. So what I want to share today, obviously, we want to put words out there that encourage other people as well, right? But... Uh, we also, and this is what I want to speak specifically to on this Monday Morning Motivation, is be careful with the words that you speak to yourself, okay? As someone who struggled her whole life with low self-esteem, um, it's important. It's important that we speak kindness to ourselves, that we speak acceptance to ourselves, that we speak love to ourselves. Um, because God made us, right? He made us in His image. He doesn't make junk. And uh, yourself is listening. So let's be kind to ourselves in the words that we use. Um, 
the Bible also tells us in Proverbs, I think it's 18.21, don't quote me on the address, but it's in Proverbs, he says that the power of life and death is in the tongue, right? Such a little thing that creates such a huge impact, right? Are you speaking life or death over yourself? You get to choose. You have the power to choose what you're putting out into the universe, okay? You have the power to take control over your thoughts in your head, right? Our, our thoughts become words. Our words become actions. Um, and yourself is listening. So I just want you today, a reminder to myself as well, to be mindful of the words that you're speaking, not only to others, but also to yourself. So uh, I would ask uh, in my prayer for today, for myself and for you, is that the Lord, God, make us hyper aware of our thoughts and our words today before they leave our mouth, right? The Bible also says he knows every thought that we have. So he knows. He's just waiting on you to ask him for help, uh, to take those thoughts captive, right? To lean into him, to take those thoughts captive, and that means when that ugly thought comes up about how you're not worthy, well, the Bible says God created you uniquely and specially in your mother's womb. The, the Bible says he has a plan and a purpose for your life. You are special. The Bible calls you the apple of his eye. I mean, we could go on and on and on. Dig into his word. Find out what he says about you and how special you are this morning. Finn is chiming in. He's saying amen. <laughs> Finn, come here. Anyway, that's my puppy dog agreeing with his amens. Hey, Finn. Uh, so anyway, I love you. I could keep going. I'm raring to go. We've got a big special event coming up this weekend in our area, and we are excited to serve our brothers and sisters that are going to be coming in to hang out with us in fellowship. So um, I've got a big to-do list. I'm going to try to come back with something crafty for you this week. It's going to be a great week in the Lord. So I hope this word encourages your heart and helps you get started on the right foot. Be kind to yourself. Speak life. Mwah.